everyone um, I believe you all are doing great so what we have here today is um, how to understand and fluently use the basic tools in Corel Draw. Um, first of all, you have to understand what Corel Draw is all about. So, if you are asked as a beginner, what is Corel Draw? Or what is graphic design all about? You should be able to know and understand that graphic design is like a craft where professionals create visual content to communicate messages. So here, you know, you you apply visual hierarchy and um, like something like page layout techniques. You know, he, here designers can also use typography and pictures to meet user specific needs and focus on the logic displaying elements in interactive designs in order to optimize the user experience here. So first, um, we need to move into what we have here without wasting time. So here I use CorelDRAW X7 64-bit. So I don't know what you use, but you, can, you know you can use other CorelDRAW applications, but here I use CorelDRAW X7 64-bit version 17.0. So let us just go into what we have. I've already loaded it. It's just to maximize what we have here. So now you wait for it to load in order to, to see what we have in our background. Okay, so this is what we have here. We have a white background embedded with a, a kind of a paper portrait, but you cannot edit this portrait here so what you do is you must have to um insert a shape such as the rectangular shape and then you draw make sure the edges match the one that comes with the default default background so here we have many tools to look at we have the files we have the edit we have to view the layout
objects, effects, bitmaps, text, table, the tools, the window, and help button. But most importantly, we have to understand these tools that are at our left angle here. So by doing this, we should be able to perform a very nice design. But at our right hand side here, we have different colors. Different colors. We have um, the CMYK, we have the ROGB, but here I make use of the ROGB. Yes. So, so now let us start with uh, understanding the key tools here. So we have many of them, but we will look at the, the shape tool, the crop tool, um, some of the, the, the rectangular shapes tools and the uh, eclipse um, polygon and the text. We'll still look at um, the shadow and then the transparency tool. These are these are the major tools that um, a designer should um, be conversant with. We should understand what these tools are all about. So first, since we have inserted an object here, so what we'll do next is moving to the shape tool. What is this all about? It is just there to edit cup object or text character by manipulating the nodes. So here, you can decide to manipulate the node of a shape that you have. How do you do that? Click as, since you have selected the objects, first of all, click on the, the shape tool. You can select or you use a function key of F10. Then once you select, you have something like this. You see the nodes having thick edges, you know, about four of them. So what you do is you right click on the body of the shape. You click to convert to curve. So when you click on this, you have something like this. So now you have to look for an, an angle or edge where you really want to perform your curve. So if this is where you want to perform your curve, you carry your cursor close to it, take it close to it until it changes to this. As you can see, when it changes to this curve, then you right click again, you click on to curve. Then this is what you have. You come back to it again, place it where you want to go, and then you left click and then you drag it. Whichever angle you want to drag it to, this is how it will look like. Okay? So, assuming you want to perform the same action here, you come down here, right click, you click on to curve. Then come again, left click, and then you drag. So, this is what we have here okay so once you are done with the tool you can easily drop and then look at what we have there you can easily rotate the objects whichever angle by coming here you click on let's take a um, angle 90 degrees it, this changes to um, a landscape when you bring it closer to the place, you see it very clearly. Okay. Then you can control Z to move back to what we have. Control Z. To move back to what we have. I'm sorry, I I clicked on some other button here. I'm trying to click on the control Z. Well, okay. This is what we have now. So this is our um, our crop tool here. You know, can can easily crop up, um, an object by you know selecting the, the 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 size of which we desire. Then once you select, you double click. As you can see, we just have this. Okay, this is what we have. This is what we have here. Can decide decide to change the color, but because of um, because of the absence of the main shape we have here, it won't appear. So assuming we didn't apply the crop tool, if you click on any of these colors, 
you see it changes okay so you know we just need to understand the basic actions and functions of this this um, tools that we have here so the next is the zoom but it's not really necessary so this is our text you can easily click on the text button okay you can select uh, the font style here we have many of them okay yeah it word service personal use only select the font size but make sure you have placed something here okay you can select um, any of the sizes here let's choose um, 72 points so that we can be able to see what we are typing so this is how it looks like okay then the next one is our um, this is for lines okay you can draw any line of your of your choice and this is our shadow tool so assuming i want to make a shadow of what we have here first of all what you do is you select the object okay and then you come to the shadow you know sometimes you see many of these designs that has shadow and you begin to imagine how was this uh, how did it came about or come about so this is where you get the tool once you select you now come to this then now this changes as you are looking at it this has changed it has many options but first of all you select the uh, object you are about to place a shadow on okay once you select you draw a drag and then you leave it to 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 just uh, generate a shadow of the object you know allow to load just for some time now this is what we have if you look very well this has placed a shadow but in case you are not satisfied with the kind of shadow it has placed what you do is go back to presets presets here you now select the one that you need let's select perspective top left let's see what we have here so allow just allow it to load until it places what you need so this is it okay so the next thing we have here let's move back ctrl z okay let's move back next thing here is our transparency tool so our transparency tool here only functions to reduce the sharpness of the object you have it could be your picture or any kind of object you have inserted already so when you now as long as you have selected the object make sure the object is selected you click on this and then you draw so when i draw something like this you see it changes so i can decide to reduce okay when i reduce the thing comes back to its initial color but if i drag it again it moves moves back to this so this is how all these things are being manipulated okay so I think um, we are done with this for now. When next we'll see, we'll talk about how we can use um, um, we can use uh, a mock-up uh, box to design something. You know how to create a mock-up designs and all that. But first, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You comment on the comment box below. Like. You can share to your friends and then follow us up by clicking on the notification bell you know make sure it is being set on all new videos because i'll be pasting i'll be uploading more of these videos so try to subscribe and click on the notification bell to follow us up drop your comments below and then you get a feedback thank you